is not always the first place I think of turning into a place of beauty and a place that is really organized and that you love looking at. But for me, I wanted something that just lit up my insides. I created some joy when I opened my curtains and I could look at something that just sparked joy in my little bedroom shared closet space. So this is our shared closet. You guys have seen it before when I've done some wardrobe try-ons, when I've shared like some day in the life, some decluttering videos. Today I am sharing a little bit of decluttering and organizing as well as this closet makeover. It was a very simple makeover, pretty affordable as well. All the expense that I had was just in the peel and stick wallpaper that I ordered from Amazon. But I wanted to share with you just what I did to create a lovely space, turning it from rather drab, not as functional, to something that sparks joy and that I don't even want to hang my curtains back up for. So here is my closet makeover and decluttering. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I went through and decluttered my clothing bins and my hanging clothes. I do have a chest of drawers or a dresser here that I use in sharing with my husband and with our baby that stays in a pack and play here in our room because we live in a 950 square foot home, meaning we have two bedrooms, one bathroom, um, just a smaller living space, of course, for a family of five. And so I wanted to get rid of some more clothes. I've really been working at paring things down because my tendency is to pick the same five or six tops, same couple bottoms and rotate that throughout the weeks. And we are in a transition of seasons right now with it being March. So we live in the Northern States in the Dakotas. And so it is colder a little longer. However, this season has been um, oddly warm. So I've been wanting to kind of get rid of my bulky winter sweaters and transition into more spring stuff. I haven't completely done that yet. That might be another video, another place. But right now, I just still felt like I had sweaters, some pants, some dresses that I was not even grabbing towards. So what I did was really just thought through what do I not tend to grab towards? All right, so some of these things I need to take care of, like returning some items, moving some of our disposable diapers to where my baby's diapers are at. We use cloth diapers most of the time, except when we're traveling or nighttime. We have some returns to do. These certain wipes made my baby have a reaction, so I'm donating them to someone else who can use them. Um, sleep sack that got ordered and it came late, so we're gonna return that. Um, just a sleep sack that won't fit, so I'll sell that on Amazon because it's too small now. And so now this is cleared out over here. This is my husband's side, just kidding. This is some baby boy stuff, some more stuff that I need to get rid of. Um, I have more cloth diapers under here that are like girl patterns. I've got some more stuff here. Oh, that's where these went. I was looking for baby socks. I'm going to gift those. There's just dust flying through the air here. I'm going to re-gift those to someone who's having a baby. Um, yeah, just get rid of some of these things. Like, I never ended up wearing this because I get too hot. And there's just some donation clothes there. I may really think I like it. Uh, but I end up not wearing it or something that really makes me feel uncomfortable even if it looks cute Why do I have it in my closet? So I pared that down and I even got my husband involved in this with his stuff too then So he doesn't have to dress up for work. He owns his own business um, He doesn't have to wear like a suit and tie or even trousers and a button down So we pared some of those down to just the minimum of like two 
into and a couple ties, you know, for weddings, funerals, those type of things, Christmas, Easter, you know, just to dress up and look nice every once in a while. And pared down some of his athletic shorts. He's a runner, so he loves running when he can. So he even got rid of some of those shorts, some athletic shorts, some of his grungier t-shirts. And so he was very on board with decluttering some. Not that he had a lot, but I'd say he definitely has more clothes than I do. Um, just probably because I tend to cycle through my clothes more, but I'm really just, my word for the year is intentional. So I want to be intentional about what clothing I have in my closet, even if that means I declutter some of my thrifted clothes and invest more. So that part being said, I decluttered all of that out and pared it down. So the decluttering done, it was time to take everything out of the closet, which it already halfway was because we took stuff out to go through it and I just had some things stored in the bottom that didn't need to be there. They needed to go into like my baby totes that needed for long-term storage for future babies we may have. Um, just some extra things in there that I didn't even know I had that I got rid of. Um, extra wipes that didn't suit my baby because they irritated him. Um, you know, things like that. So I donated the, some of that stuff to people who need it. We ended up donating two big boxes of clothes and stuff from this closet, which is awesome. Great to purge and create a more open space. So I pulled everything out. Um, my husband helped me take down these shelves. Now when we moved into this house quite a while ago, these organization shelves were already here, which I like. I appreciate that they were already there, but I wanted to put some peel and stick wallpaper on these walls because it's just sheetrock. It was never taped or mudded, and there were actually no studs in the back of that. So we really debated on if we should rip out the whole sheetrock and put studs back there to just make it more secure for these organization shelves to be um, connected to the wall. We did nix that idea because we did see there were uh, stud hangers or stud supports. I don't know exactly if that's the right word, but in the wall. So that worked out. And so the peel and stick wallpaper project um, c continued. And so I bought, I had to buy three rolls, I believe. This is the same pattern I used on my built-in shelves in our living area built-in, and I just really loved it. And I'm not one to have like a lot of bright pops of color and patterns, so this was a neutral enough pattern for me, but yet had some color, covered up all the imperfections in the wall. I did have to poke holes where the hanger, little um, hangers for the organization rack goes because I didn't take those out of the wall. Otherwise it would have ripped the sheetrock out. So that isn't perfect. It's not perfect. Um, I don't tend to lean towards perfection. I just want to do better and make this space still look lovely. So I did do that. And you know, I do have to say myself, I love looking at it. Like I said, curtains are not even up. So that took some time because I usually like to work on projects during nap time, but my little guy sleeps in here at nap time. So that didn't work so well. But it still came together and I got it put up and I re-put up then the shelves afterwards. Oh, I did paint. I did not put up wallpaper on this inside little strip of a wall or on the ceiling. So I did some touch up paint and covered up the scratches and imperfections again with some paint I had on hand, some white dove, cause that is my favorite white. <laughs> That's what my bedroom is painted. And I just thought that really made it clean. And that is what I wanted, clean, fresh, um, beautiful look. So with all that said, the organization shelves, organization shelves got put back up. I did not purchase any new bins. I just rearranged bins. I did have some gray ones, some brown ones. My white one I moved up there. I had this little wicker basket that I put my husband's socks in instead of the gray container I had just to make it warmer. And I'm all about wicker baskets. If you followed me for a while, anytime I go thrifting, I pretty much always pick up a wicker basket or organization container of some sort made of these wicker materials of some sort. And so I just thought that really enhanced this space to warm it up. And then just put like my husband's belts, his three belts in a little wicker flat organization container so that he can see them and rehung our clothes and 
it just looks so much more spacious because there is less stuff and I think that's so important is to continually declutter um, just keep things you love if you're not loving some clothes if you are wanting to lose a bunch of weight or some of that weight but it doesn't fit right now I would say just get rid of it and donate it wear clothes that fit you at the time so that you feel good about yourself and have that hanging in your closet sure I might have a dress or two in there that aren't nursing friendly because right now I look for dresses that are nursing friendly but I do wear those in my off times of not having children and not nursing so there are some things I do hang on to just for future that I know I will have but I just wanted to create a space that really that really fit who I am even if it's a space no one else sees except myself and my husband and now you guys I just really wanted to beautify it and just to make my home a place I love and want to be in and even if we go to sell this house at some point which we're not intending to right now but I just wanted to improve every um, space that we have and I think doing this really enhanced the look of our closet so my little decluttering and organization and simple closet makeover it was really affordable was done um, just by myself and a little bit from my husband and so it's just a space I love like I said so I hope you enjoyed seeing my simple shared closet makeover and decluttering and that you can just create a space in your home or create a home that you love and enjoy by beautifying it in a way that suits you and your family. I will talk with you guys in the next video.